Good morning, ladies, ladies. How are you today? It's Friday, and I know a lot of you say, yay, it's Friday, because you have your weekend off. <clears throat> well, this morning, I got on, well, you know, I look at all the online newspapers in, in Spanish and in English, and one of the articles that caught my eye this morning was in, from The Guardian uh, about Catherine Spencer, who used to be she is was the former captain of the English women's rugby team. Wow, that's some sport, isn't it? Women's rugby. So I wanted to talk a little bit about, uh, you know, the coverage of women in sport and that whole thing about uh, that vicious cycle of being seen, not being seen, and how it affects our mindsets and what we have to do to get seen. So I'm Georgia Vargas, and I am a speaker a mentor and a writer, and I mentor women who are ready to make changes, ready with their story or their message to step up and stand out on video, stage or page. I work with female entrepreneurs who are keen to develop and achieve confidence and courage on video, stage or page. So this morning I read this article by Catherine Spencer, and she talked about the vicious cycle of <clears throat> excuse me of underinvestment in sponsorship and TV coverage and of course the lack of pay and people often say well why can't we see women's sports on television why isn't it represented in the newspapers why can't we see more and the answers are well that's because <laughs> I, I and that's because we're doing three things at once I know and that's because um this is the whole vicious cycle. You don't get paid, you don't get the TV coverage because they say there's no audience. If there's no audience, you get no sponsorship. But the reality of it is, is that women do go and watch sports events. The, there are not enough, and there's not enough advertising, <clears throat> and there's not enough sponsorship. So this is the vicious cycle. Anyway, Catherine Spencer wrote this fabulous book called Mud, Maul, and Mascara. I think that's a brilliant title for a book. <clears throat> and she said that she wrote the book because she was so fed up of going to the bookshop and seeing millions of books written by men and there was nothing there about women and women's sports and the fantastic courage that it takes, the confidence that it takes, the personality that it takes to do women's sports. She was English, England cap captain of the English rugby team and she was holding down a full-time job because she wasn't being paid. <clears throat> because there wasn't sponsorship, because there wasn't TV coverage, and so on. And these women are not being heard, they're just not understood, and they're not believed. And that's, that's my thing, you know, that's what gets me out of, out of bed in the morning, gets me really excited. Why aren't women being taken seriously? They're fantastic sportswomen, I think they're incredibly brave. <clears throat> I have to drink some water. Mm -mm. They're so brave and so courageous. I mean, I, <clears throat> I couldn't run around a field kicking a ball like that. Give me a racket. <laughs> so this is the glass ceiling. This is the reality that women face, even in sport. You know, we've got the Me Too movement. We've got the Time Up movement. We've got equal pay movements. And it all comes together facing up to that glass ceiling above our heads. So ladies, I'm putting out a call to you because I want to know how do you feel about El Techo Cristal, the glass ceiling. Have you come across it? Does it crack? Do you see it? Have you banged your head on it? What has been your experience <clears throat> with that glass ceiling? <clears throat> oh, it's one of those mornings, sorry. I'm too excited to tell you all this. So I want to know about your experiences with that glass ceiling. Where has it stopped you? How has it stopped you? What did it make you feel? I'd love to know what you think. Do tell me, I'll be coming back to this soon. I'll be putting up a poll and asking individuals to tell me about their experiences with that slippery, slidey, transparent, no entry glass ceiling. Uh, listen, it's Friday. You're gonna wrap up your work today and have a great weekend? I hope so. Well, you know me, I work and I play and I play and I work all, over, all through the week. So I wish you really well and I'll see you very soon. Don't forget, leave your comments.